Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Michael here. Today, we'll be get, I'll be showing you how to get rid of the double opt-in from GetResponse, okay? So, if you know what that is, cool, you're in the right place. If you don't, basically, it's just an, uh, another uh, confirmation um, that GetResponse sends out to make sure that the subscriber knows and confirms that they're subscribing to whatever offer you, you have out there, okay? So, this is the email of what it would look like. Uh, Hello, whatever name, Bob, for example. Right, we'll receive a subscription to your mailing list to confirm your subscription. Please click here. So we're going to click here, confirm, and all that stuff. Okay, but we don't want that. It's, it's just sort of a, a you know pointless when it's being done twice. Okay, so all you have to do is log into your get response. All right, this is my account. Come to the dashboard page. All you have to do is come over to contacts. Click on that. Come on down to your list. You see this Michael Chain 1204? Let me go back to the email. Look up here. Please confirm your subscription to Michael Chain 1204. See that was the campaign that I was I had to add out there. Right? So this person opts into that. Okay? And then get response sends them that email to make sure they, they confirm that they want to subscribe to it. Alright? So to to turn that off, what you have to do is all you have to do is come down to here, don't press anything, go to the right, the three buttons, hover over it, come to settings, click it. Alright, right in the middle subscription, click that. Alright, these are turned off because I've turned them off already, but um, when you haven't done anything, it it's by default, it's off. It's it's uh it's blue, right? It's turned on. So here it tells you what this double double opt-in is. Okay. When you enable one, several, or all options, all new contacts who sign up using the select method receive a confirmation email. They need to confirm the permission to be on your list by clicking a confirmation link. Right, so that's what that is. What you have to do is just basically turn both of them off. Right, and right here is where to host your confirmation page. By default, it's get response. Right, but we're going to change it. At Typeron, whenever we create a capture page, we always make a thank you page, right? We also all we also make a thank you page that goes along with the capture page. So when they opt in, they give us their email and we send them to the cap to the thank you page. So for us, we just copy the URL here, right? But this is different for everyone. Everyone's got a different business. Uh, they have their own thank you page. Just copy that URL, paste it here, save uh, subscription setting, and you're done. That's it. Okay. Just by that, now your your future subscribers will not be asked, will not receive this email from your response anymore. Okay, so now it's only one opt-in and not a double opt-in. You get that? So it's easy, easy. If someone teaches you. Right, it took me a while to figure it out, but I figured it out. If I have that issue, I'm pretty sure some people out there will have it too. So hope this is helpful. Um, until next time, peace and love. Take care.